Web3 security and auditing is exploding in popularity. This is one of the most lucrative crypto and Web3 job with huge rewards. From millions of dollars in bug bounties to million dollars audit competitions where people can just come compete and get money out of the pot and also huge demand for skilled experienced security researchers in top auditing firms the opportunities are huge but here is the catch there are no shortcuts and this is exactly why i prepared the complete beginner's roadmap to become a smart contract auditor security researcher and hackers in 2025 so grab some popcorn and watch this video till the end now without further ado let's get started First, let's understand what is smart contract auditing and Web3 security. So in smart contract auditing, the auditor receives a code base that is mostly written in Solidity. The goal of this process is to find as many vulnerabilities and recommend how to fix them before you deploy the contracts to the real blockchain. And the stakes are super high because once a smart contract is deployed to the blockchain, the code is immutable and it's also dealing with financial stuff. So it accumulates money. And if there is a hack, a vulnerability, and if it's exploited by bad actors, it's irreversible. And these bad actors can just steal millions of dollars from these smart contracts. And if you go to DeFi Llama hack stable, you can see how much money is being stolen over the past months and years in smart contracts. You have a list of attacks and it's insane. The numbers here are insane, $50 million, $1.4 billion, the famous Bybit act, and so and so and so on. Just millions of dollars are being drained from DeFi and Web3 protocols, a lot of them due to smart contract exploits. So why does it pay so well? You can see here that the salary in the US is between 75K to 150K, in Europe between 80K to 180K, and in Asia from 68K to 200K. Why they're paying so much to smart contract auditors and security researchers? First, because the stakes are very high. Once exploit happens, it's gone. The money is gone, the contract is broken, and the hacker just walks away with all the money, unlike traditional cybersecurity, where you usually hack databases and data and information. Here you literally steal money from smart contracts. The second reason is that because there is a talent shortage, we don't have that many security researchers like in Web2 and traditional cybersecurity. We have less talented and experienced security researchers when it comes to Web3 crypto and smart contracts. Combine these two reasons and these are the results for millions of dollars in bug bounties, millions of dollars in audit competitions and security companies like Open Zeppelin paying pretty nice salaries to their security researchers. So how do you start? How do you become one of these security researchers that maybe land a job in Open Zeppelin, maybe win a competition or get some money out of this $2.5 million competition or maybe find uh, bugs in bug bounty programs? First, you need to understand the basics. You cannot break, you cannot hack what you don't understand. And if you're a completely newbie and beginner in crypto and blockchain, just start with a Bitcoin white paper. There is no better than that to understand how blockchains and peer-to-peer -peer financial networks work. So I highly recommend reading the white paper. Then you can move on to the Ethereum white paper, the Ethereum book to learn how the Ethereum and the Ethereum virtual machine works. By the way, we have a full dedicated chapter in the smart contract hacking course just about that, about how Ethereum works and how the Ethereum virtual machine works, but more on that later. Then you are mainly going to review and find bugs and vulnerabilities in Solidity smart contracts, so you need to get familiar with the language. And the best way to get familiar with the language is the Solidity book, but there are also other interactive ways to learn Solidity, like Crypto Zombies, which is a very fun browser game where you kind of code zombies in Solidity. Very fun way to learn Solidity. I used it back then in the days to learn Solidity. You have great courses in Alchemy University. Uh, I just recommend you to skip 
uh, all the interface courses. You don't need to build web interface. You just want to learn how smart contract works, how to write them, how to read them. So just focus on the Solidity side. Actually, JavaScript is also useful because we use sometimes a framework called Hardet with smart contracts. So it's useful uh, to learn JavaScript, which is the backend and the, the fundamentals of Hardet. And you also have great courses in Cypher and Updraft, Blockchain Basics, Smart Contract Developers, Foundry, and so on. Once you have the basics, you want to learn some frameworks. So the most popular frameworks are Foundry and Hardet. For Hardet, you need some JavaScript knowledge. So it's very good and very useful to learn JavaScript in general if you're technical engineer guy. JavaScript is one of the most common languages when it comes to everything, basically. So get some courses in JavaScript, whether it's in Code Academy or Free Code Camp, and learn the basics of JavaScript, Hadit, and Foundry, which are the most popular frameworks when it comes to developing smart contracts in Solidity. Now that you got all the basics, it's time to dive into breaking stuff, to hacking stuff, to hacking and finding vulnerabilities and exploiting them in smart contracts. Now, there are plenty of vulnerabilities like re-entry C attacks, overflows and outflows, flash loan attacks, governing attacks, external calls, and the list is huge. Now, you can go all over the internet, search for these vulnerabilities, read about them, learn them. That's one option. The second option, if you want a shortcut, you can get the smart contract hacking course that is being taught by me and great guest lectures like Trust. We have also Pashov, the most booked smart contract auditor, and also he has now Pashov Audit Group. So he, he created this huge company of auditing. And we have also Owen, the founder of Guardian, or oh, it used to be Guardian Audit, now it's Guardian. So these are three great auditors, including myself, business creators, bug hunters, like the, the best of the best. And everything is aggregated for you. So you don't need to go all over the internet, search for the attacks. You have a lot of chapters, 24 plus all these guest chapters, approximately EVM, dev tools, ERC20, all the basics to the attacks. So every chapter here comes with few exercises where we'll have to hack, find vulnerabilities and break smart contracts. And these exercises actually are the most fun part of the course because you're going to enjoy solving them. And when you get stuck, if you get stuck, you have the solutions, you have me showing you how to break the challenge. And then you can just one by one check mark all these common vulnerabilities and attack patterns when it comes to Solidity smart contracts. It goes without saying, but the course also comes with a premium Discord community access where you can access me or other students if you get stuck or you want to ask questions, make connections. And of course, an official certification that will help you showcase your skills and maybe land a job in one of these auditing firms. So check out the website. You can also grab a free trial of the course. We offer it for free. So just go ahead get started and kickstart your career. Once you're done with the course, or some people even like to do it, meanwhile, the course, you can check out CTF or Capture the Flag Challenges. So there are two great ones. One is the Ethernaut by Open Zeppelin. And you have here 33 Solidity Hacking Challenges where you have in every challenge, you need to hack and break smart contracts. And you also have Damn Vulnerable DeFi, which is a bit more advanced uh, uh, challenges and they just released version four. And if you here you have a set of 18 challenges where you have to hack smart contracts based on real DeFi attacks. And you have a list of 18 challenges where you have to hack smart contracts based on real DeFi hacks that happened in the past. And if you get stuck, you have for free on my channel two playlists. One is Ethernaut Foundry Solution, which all the tutorials, step-by-step -step guides of how I solve every single challenge of Ethernaut. So check it out. And you also have the Denvolable DeFi version 3 and version 4 solutions. This is pretty new, so I'm just creating now the tutorials and publishing them. But you can also check out the version 3 solutions on my channel or wait until all the version 4 are published. Another cool thing you can do is fork this DeFi Hack Labs repository, which is one of the greatest repositories in Web3 security, and start reviewing different real attacks on real DeFi protocols. This repository essentially reproduces POCs, proof of concepts of real DeFi hacks that happened in the past by forking the blockchain, running the exploits on the vulnerable smart contracts and making sure that the state is correct. So you can check it out and you have here all the DeFi incidents of 2025, 2024, and every one of them is linked to 
a, a real test, real smart contract that tests the exploit. But this is more advanced. This is once once you go through the course, you go some uh, through some uh, CTF challenges, you can check out real exploit that will help you to identify these attack patterns and maybe later find real exploits and bug bounties in bug bounty programs. A lot of students in a smart contract hacking course also choose to participate in auditing contests meanwhile taking the course, which is a great tip in my opinion. I would highly recommend that. So you can check out Coderina. They have some active audits here. Also, you learn and at the same time, you might earn some money on the side. And we have plenty of students that are definitely killing it, making thousands and sometimes ten thousands of dollars and capturing the first, second, and third place in auditing competitions in Code Arena, Sherlock, another platform. You have also uh, Immunify that have bug bounties and also audit competitions. You have Cantina with huge rewards, 2.5 million, 2 million, 60K. Uh, so this is definitely something you can try at. Meanwhile, taking the course or after doing the course, but I recommend you to start with the competitions with the small pots because they are usually smaller code bases and it might be a bit less overwhelming. And once you get more experience, you can jump to the higher code base, to the bigger code bases with a big amount of rewards. Another thing that you can consider doing is apply to Web3 security uh, jobs or maybe start offering private audits. But this is only when you got some experience and you have something to show. Don't try to apply to security companies like Nethermind, Open Zeppelin, without having anything. At least complete the course, find some issues in audit competitions, have some GitHub repository with some research that you have done, some articles that you wrote on Medium, some threads that you wrote on X. Don't just come empty-handed. Gain some experience, gain some knowledge, something that you can show and impress other people, and then you can get clients or maybe get a job. So like I said, there are no shortcuts. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of it's not, nothing comes easy, right? There is no money on the trees. You cannot just go and make millions of dollars doing nothing. You need to work your ass off. You need to learn. You need to study. You need to practice. And I truly believe in hands-on approach. That's why the course is very, very hands-on. All over the course, you're going to read a lot of smart contracts and write exploits and exploit these vulnerabilities. And this is the best way to learn. And all everything that I gave you here is hands-on oriented, rather than reading, breaking, solving, hacking, you know, this is way better than just reading. That's what I believe in. That's what I'm doing for more than 10 years in teaching cybersecurity in Web 2 and Web 3. And I think it will be better for you to have the same approach when it comes to studying and gaining a skill. Another super important key is have public presence, learn in public, progress in public. It means that if you don't have a LinkedIn account, X account, Medium account, or maybe if you like to create videos, YouTube account, you should start one. You should open one and share your progress. Share what you're doing. Write articles about what you learned, about what you did, about what you researched. Maybe push some code to your GitHub repository, some public repositories, okay? So you have some kind of portfolio. Start now. Start now. Don't wait for tomorrow. I want you just right after watching this video, open your X profile if you don't have one, open LinkedIn, open Medium, open GitHub if you don't have one, and start learning in public, sharing your progress, having a brand and public presence. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and stay around for more smart contract auditing and hacking tutorials. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next guide.